weekly updates, weekly sessions uh, with our liquidity provider, Simile This Week. Um, so this is Simile This Week, episode number eight. Jack, I'm saying it again for the fourth time. Welcome to Simile This Week. <laughs> the, 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 the finest selection of liquidity <laughs> in the interchain brought yes. to you by Jack and Tariq. Well, Let's you, go. Exactly. So Jack, uh, we had a big event this week. Um, I want to say congratulations to you and the Simile development team. Um, you guys pushed pushed, pushed, and delivered uh, Uniswap V3 interface from yeah. Similier called Pairings, Pairings by Similier. And that was a big week, particularly for product. So today, what I'm going to ask you to do is tell us more about Pairings and what what we can do with it, you know, what's, what's, what's possible, what makes Pairings so super special that everybody who trades on Uniswap as a liquidity provider has to go out today and use it. Yeah, Pairings is designed to make providing liquidity on Uniswap v3 easy. Um, right now, if you go to the Uniswap v3 interface, it is fairly difficult. I think a lot of the team spent a bunch of last week and early this week um, trying both our product as well as the, the Uniswap product side by side. And the Uniswap product really does a great job of exposing all of the bells and whistles, which for some traders and people learning how to use the system and to understand exactly at a granular level what these different components do is great. Um, but if you just want to eat some liquidity into a pool and make sure that people can trade against that, which is the main reason why people provide liquidity, uh, it can be really hard to kind of understand what to do there. Sommelier's product pairings just provides some same defaults for a lot of those values and tries to provide a Uniswap V2-like experience for providing liquidity on V3. All right. Um, one of the things that I noticed when using the Pairings app was that um, that there are a lot of uh, first thing I noticed when I hit the drop down um, is that uh, we're currently seeing a lot more pools um, for each pair. Um, why is that? What happened with Uniswap v3 that suddenly we see all those options? So this is this has to do with the fee levels. Um, e each pair used to have only one fee level. And the sort of concept of a pair within Uniswap was just the two different tokens. Now in Uniswap v3, traders can pick which fee level uh, that they want to provide their liquidity at. You know, if it's a stablecoin, stablecoin pairing, picking the lowest fee level makes a lot of sense because you, there's really not a lot of risk as a liquidity provider and you just want to service trades in a very tight band. Um, whereas, you know, if you're doing like an ETH uh, SHIB pair, uh, there's a lot more risk and volatility in that pair. And you want to take a higher uh, fee in order to reimburse yourself for the risk that you as a liquidity provider are taking. So you might want to pick the highest pair. Standard pair would be something like an ETH USDT pair uh, that, that is a well-established token. And I think most tokens are likely going to kind of end up in that mid fee range. There's the lowest fee range, which is primarily stablecoin, stablecoin pairs. And then there's the highest fee range, which is sort of more exotic and newer tokens that are undergoing price discovery. Um, and th that's just a fundamental change in the way that Uniswap works. It does split liquidity up between those three fee tiers. But in reality, most tokens gravitate towards only one of those. In future versions of the pairings app, we're going to automatically detect which fee level has the highest volume for a given pair and automatically pre-populate with that fee level so that you as a user likely don't have to think or deal with this. Got it. That's awesome. One of the things I noticed also was the sentiment. Um, you tell me a little bit more about these uh, sentiment choices of neutral, bullish, or bearish. Yeah. So when you were providing liquidity in Uniswap v2, you provide across the entire range of prices. And you as a liquidity provider don't have any control over what prices your liquidity ends up trading at. In V3, you pick a price range in which you are going to provide liquidity and you only service trades in that range. So this bullish bearish indicator, and if we use the example of the ETH USDT pair, um, if you're bullish on ETH, you want to you think the price of ETH is going to continue to go up. So you want that price range to maybe skew a little bit more towards the upside and protect you from less downside risk. Whereas mm -hmm. if you're bearish on the price of ETH, you might expect the price to go down. 
So you, you're going to give less room on the upside and more room on the downside when you're picking that price range where you're providing your liquidity. One other note about that is when you provide liquidity in a tight range, you make more of the fees for trades in that range. So as a liquidity provider in Uniswap V3, what you want to do is pick the tightest range that you can and then rebalance to uh, meet new changing market conditions. My brain just froze, sorry. <laughs> Your, your brain froze at rebalance. <laughs> well, I immediately thought segue, and then I thought <laughs> we should talk about the seller protocol. <laughs> All right. So, um, so your team, I think. So, I guess your team is looking at how um, you know we 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 you know we've been helping promoting and get visibility out there. I think a lot of people are telling us that you know, hey, um, you know, gas prices are so high that um, you know using Uniswap is frustrating. Um, you know, it's kind of brutal right now, it's yeah. kind of brutal right now. So I guess, you know, um, maybe my question is, you know, um, what do you want LPs to think, you know, given high gas prices and this new approach to essentially aping into Uniswap V3 peers as if it were Uniswap V2, like, like, what do you want them to keep in mind? I think, and, and if I could lead the question, you know, I think in our blog, we talked about, you know, making efficient choices. So that you don't have to choose many times, you know, with Simulia, it seems that you've made it that you have to choose less. So you spend less gas. Yeah, that, that, that's that that's a huge piece of it. Yeah. Um, um, that's a huge piece of it. And then another part of this conversation is the L2 conversation. Yeah. So Uniswap V3 will be available on Optimism. We will follow them there uh, as a as the easiest way to add liquidity for Sommelier. Yep. And the features that we're adding to this pairings app in the near future are things like a position manager so that you can quickly and easily view all of your different positions and change them if needed, mm -hmm. um, as well as withdrawing and rebalancing liquidity within a given position. So right. those are the those are the kind of immediate term features that we're going to ship for quality of life improvements for, you know, what are going to end up being a lot of Uniswap V3 pool operators, Got as it. well as large liquidity providers on these pools. Got it. One of the things I was thinking of next is, okay, so now that you have pairings and your product pairings has launched, what does this mean for the protocol? All of us that are, you know, looking forward to some tokens, what, what's, what, how does this interrelate? How do they connect? Yeah, so you know, when we're talking about the different functionalities of the pairings app, adding liquidity, even with just one token, rebalancing and moving liquidity around between pools, and showing the value of positions, these are the fundamental building blocks that we need to build the seller contract that's going to enable refungible liquidity for Uniswap V3. Yeah. And what the what the pairings app does is provide that early work that we've done to our users before anyone else gets it. And it provides an easy way to use this Uniswap V3 interface. And it also it helps us build this uh, market of users who are interested in providing liquidity on Uniswap V3. So that as the protocol comes to maturity and we launch that piece of it, um, there will be folks who are familiar with the interface that we have, which will be very similar for the seller module uh, as it is for uh, the, the current pairings app, um, but it'll actually make you make less decisions, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, that, that's, that's sort of how the two interrelate. Pairings are pioneering features and pioneering the tech that we're gonna end up integrating into this slower moving protocol. Got it. Um, one of the questions I was curious about is, have you used the Pairings product? Yes, I have. Are you making money? Um, well, I aped into a uh, USDC die pool, um, which is far as like stable coin, stable coin. Oh, that's choices. boring. Come on, dude. I, I, I feel like I feel like that's I feel like that. that's I feel like that says something about you me. You can do um, much better, sir. And as 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 Tariq mentions, I can do much better. Um, <laughs> my my returns over the last few days also indicate that I can do much better as well. So uh, better, maybe, sir. maybe time to rebalance that into a Shiba ETH pool. Um, I, I'm looking forward to that uh, soon. Well, I, I would say if anybody's listening um, and, and people should be listening and you've gotten this far, um, if you look at our blog, three ways that uh, three ways that pairings by Similia makes Uniswap V3 easy for liquidity providers. Um, if you scroll down, 
you will see that we have um, a pool that's active that we did while we were doing the blog. And if you go to appuniswap.org slash pool slash 12661, that's app that slash pool slash 12661, that's a position we put in using Similia, and, and it has already uh, collected $29 on uh, $2,000 of liquidity. Um, that's, you know, just about 1%, you know, in, a, in about a week. You know, one six six one or one six 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 one. One two six six one. That's one two one, six six one. Two six six one. Which is really the NFT ID. So when you created an Ether scan and you look for the Uniswap NFT ID one two six six one, it corresponds. And I am I am impressed. Pierings, your product is making me money. Yeah. And I have no idea what the price of USDC ETH should be. Um, but just simply making that bet with Similia's pairings, I'm able to essentially pair into what I most care about, which is, which is profits. Now it won't cover my my gas fees, so I'll leave it there for a while <laughs> and see how that continues. <laughs> to you know, the way that I look at gas on Ethereum is a lot like weather. You know, sometimes it's torrential downpours outside, and uh, we launched into a torrential downpour, which you know was fun for deploying contracts. Um, makes that a little bit more expensive and uh, highly error prone. Yeah, um, I, I think uh, you know deploying ETH contracts when there's network traffic like this feels like picking up a wrench and just hitting a machine until it yep. does what you want it. Yep. Um, so yeah, that was that was fun and adventurous this week. <laughs> Awesome. All right. Well, I mean, here, you know, here's to more adventures for you and the app team. I, I hear you guys have more features coming out next week and more improvements. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, we'll be announcing those as they go live. But I, I mentioned a few of them earlier, things like position manager, things like remove liquidity, things yep. like reposition liquidity, yep. you know, just these basic blocking and tackling things. We take the approach here at Sommelier of ship and iterate. We want to get the work that we do out in front of users as quick as possible because we do think that there is utility there. What we were able to launch on like right when Uniswap v3 launched was this ability to easily add liquidity and to remove complexity from that operation. So we just launched with that and awesome. we're just going to continue adding features um, over the next weeks. Um, in, in this, all of this work that we're doing sort of rolls back into the protocol and we'll have a lot more to talk about there, but that is again, a refungible uh, Uniswap V3 liquidity product. Excellent, excellent. We look forward to it. So next week's gonna be even more yeah. stuff to talk about. Thank you, Jack, have a great weekend. And uh, that's it for Simile this week. Mm. These are some fine selections that we made. <laughs> Enjoy your pairings. <laughs>